The cash for clunkers program seemed like a great deal. You get a lot of money for your crappy old car. But Bill Moore does the math, and sometimes buying a new car just doesn't make sense. Enjoy! Ignite is an ongoing series of speedy presentations. They range from building multi-person pogo sticks to hacking chocolate. Any topic that geeks hold dear. Each speaker gets only 5 minutes, and 20 slides at auto advance every 15 seconds. The talk you're about to hear was recorded live at one of the featured Ignite events around the world. Now, unless you spent the last six months of your life living under a rock or in a drunken stupor, not that there's anything wrong with that, you've probably heard the Cash for Clunkers program. The government's going to give, or was going to give us, $3,500 to $4,500 to cash in your hoopty on a brand new car. I heard this and I said to myself, self, I need a car. <laughs> Hell yeah, I need a car. I mean, what red-blooded American male doesn't want a brand new car? What red-blood American male, that's right, doesn't want to drive a car that they can't afford to impress people they don't know? I mean, what's the most important is that, that new car smell. So I hopped in my hoopty. I said, all right, I'm going to go get a new car. I am going to get a new car. Hell yeah, I'm going to get a new car. Maybe. I said to myself, self, you need to stop. You need to stop and, and evaluate and see, is this the right decision for me? I mean, is there some way that I can turn my clunker into my own cash? Cars are one of the biggest expenses you will have in your life. Now notice I didn't say they were investments, because investments tend to go up over time. Cars, on the other hand, go down. It's a guarantee. As a matter of fact, you, the average car will lose over 60% of its value in the first three years. 60%. It'll lose over 25% of its value in the first three minutes. You drive that car off the lot, a quarter of your car is gone. Now, I also thought about the monthly payment because I don't have a monthly payment. So $475 a month is the average monthly payment for a car for six freaking years at almost 10% interest. That's a lot of money. And if you take that average $26,000 car by the time you pay for it, it's going to be over $33,000 out of your pocket. And that car that's sitting in your driveway is going to be less than six grand if you took care of it properly. If you instead put that 475 bucks a month in an investment, you're going to have over 100 grand in 10 years. In 30 years, you're going to have 1.5 million, 1.6 to be exact. How's that car smell now? <laughs> a lot of people are gonna justify their new car purchase by saying, you know what, I'm gonna save money on gas. And I've run the figures. If you drive 12,000 miles a year, you're gonna save less than 400 bucks a, a year. That's not even a car payment. Now, this is my car, this is my actual hoopty. It's a Mercury Sable. How sexy is that? For those of you who don't know, the Sable's the same thing as a Taurus. Now, a Taurus may be a cool Zodiac sign, but it is not a sexy car. <laughs> and to make it even more sexy, I made sure I bought it in gray. <laughs> this car has treated me well. My goal is to get a quarter million miles out of it. I mean, I am already at 216,528. And for those of you who aren't in a drunken stupor, you may have noticed that I took this picture of my odometer doing 35 miles an hour. <laughs> It's all right. I was on U of M campus. If I hit somebody, it's nobody important. <laughs> My car's starting to have a little bit of personality. The brake light's been on for 120,000 miles. <laughs> you get in my car now, the dash looks like a Christmas tree. A <sighs> little bit of pine freshener hanging from the ceiling. You've got it made. But if you want to get 250,000 miles out of your car, you need to make friends with your mechanic. I mean, this is the guy who you're going to go to and say, when I shut it off, it doesn't do this. It does more like this. 
and he's got to translate that and fix it. And the other thing you have to do is not drive it like you stole it. Drive it like you're going to keep it for a few years. Don't take off from every stop sign doing 80 miles an hour. Don't hit the brakes at the last second. Don't turn the corners doing 60 miles an hour. We live in Michigan. Avoid potholes. And above all else, do not, and I've tried this, do not jump your car over the neighbor's garage. Now, if you didn't take advantage of cash for clunkers and instead want to do clunkers for cash, take my advice. Keep your eyes on the prize and your foot on the gas.